One of the questions I'm often asked is whether or not EMF blocking clothing materials actually works and also whether or not it's worth buying them. So I thought I'd just quickly share a video showing an example of it working. So this is a, a hat which does to a large degree block some of the EMF. So I'm going to show you the hat blocking or significantly reducing the uh, radio frequency radiation, also called wireless radiation, emitted from a microwave, which by the way you should never ever use a microwave, they damage the food and damage everyone around them. Uh, and then I'll also show you the hat blocking, significantly reducing the electric field from a iPhone charger. So first up is the microwave and I'll just quickly show you what the kind of base levels are when you turn it on. So as you saw, they were quite high, but they will go down quite a lot with using uh, the shielding material in the hat. So it's definitely gone down a lot from what it was without the hat. So the reason why it doesn't go completely to zero is because there could be multiple reasons. Maybe the, the material in the in the fabric is not like super, super, super EMF proof and it does let through a small amount. But the, the other possible cause could be that the radiation from the microwave is bouncing from other parts of the room and coming back uh, into the hat and, and getting where, where, that, where I was holding the EMF meter. So that's just an explanation. But you could clearly see from the before I used the hat how high it was and how low it was comparatively with the hat that it does offer some protection. The next wee experiment I'll show you is the electric field emitted uh, from this iPhone charger when it's turned on. So there's the reading volts per meter. With no shielding material or this no no fabric. And here is the same situation, same position, but with the uh, shielding fabric that's in this hat. So it does it does pretty much drop it down close to zero. Uh, so I've been able to show you how it significantly reduced the RF radiation from the microwave and reduced the electric field from the uh, iPhone charger. Now, I just want to make a point so that you're aware of this information that you know, I've spoken to a few EMF specialists over the years and I've you know, read a lot of different opinions on websites and forums. Some people will say that these types of clothing are not worth it because unless they're a spacesuit, like imagine an astronaut, unless they're a spacesuit with with head, which has no gaps, then the EMFs are still going to get in from other places. And then there's a whole lot of other people who would say, no, they still are worthwhile because clearly, as I've just shown, they do reduce the exposure. So my position is, at this point in time of filming, is that they are worthwhile. They clearly do offer some benefit and, and value, but Obviously, you really need to work on the free things first, your, your basic like electromagnetic hygiene, EMF hygiene, in terms of Wi-Fi router off at night and when possible during the day, Ethernet wherever possible. 
flight mode on your phone and tablet and laptop, uh, spending time in nature, seeing the sun in the morning, blur, uh, blocking blue light from you know, artificial uh, bright blue light sources, getting some red light in your life. I think those things are all much more worthwhile doing first as a better foundation. And then you can, you know, work into kind of intermediate advanced stuff like getting a some sort of sh uh, shielded clothing material. And there's a lot of good products coming out. Like I know there are a few brands that now make men's underwear uh, to protect the reproductive organs from electromagnetic radiation. I think that's a great invention. And, you know, if I can review one of those on this channel, that would be that would be awesome. So, in conclusion, yes, they do offer some benefit, clearly. Uh, but let's keep things in perspective. You need to sort out your basic EMF hygiene first. And also, in terms of the environment, yeah, okay, you, you, you wear clo this clothing and stuff and protect yourself. I mean, the bees outside are still getting uh, thrashed by all this um, wireless radiation. So, it's not, it's not really a real solution to, the, to these problems. I will include I will include a link in the description below to places where you can get products like this because I don't think this one's sold anymore. Uh, and if I have discount codes, I'll put them down there as well. And obviously, if you're interested in getting an EMF meter, you know I often recommend this one. Uh, you can also get the Trifield TF2. This is the Cornet ED88T Plus. You can get discounts on them and other EMF gear from stopsmartmeters.org and the discount code GROWSANCTUARY will get you 5% off.